Thank you for joining us for Central Square Congregational Church's Don't Freak Out Christmas Pageant. This whole creation thing is not going well. It started out so good. I mean, I can't tell you how fun it was to come up with all the different creatures. Zebras and ladybugs and dolphins. I really didn't think I could top what I created on the fifth day, but then I did. I made humans. I crafted them in my own image and breathed life into their lungs and called them beloved. But now they just keep turning away from me. It breaks my heart to see them so sad. And the way they treat one another, it's not just the wars, though the wars are terrible, they just aren't kind to one another. Do you think it might be time? We knew this day was coming, God, maybe it is time. I think you're right. I've promised humans all along that I will never leave them alone. I told them to trust me and hope that they, and hope that I would find a way to heal all the cracks in creation. By me, I think you're right, it's time. So you're going to send him in? I'm going to send him in my very own son, my beloved Jesus. He will show the whole world who I really am, a God of love. He will share the good news of mercy and forgiveness. He will teach people how to live good and holy lives. He will share my spirit with my people. But he's still going to start out as a baby, right? I love babies. Who doesn't love babies? Of course he'll start out as a baby. For this to work, he has to be fully human. I found just the right mother for him too. Her name is Mary and she's wonderful. She must be so excited! What? Oh, well, she doesn't actually know. I didn't think of that. I'm pretty sure she should have a, a say in all this, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Of course. We're all very wise. Do you think you could all pay her a little visit and let me know how it goes? We're on it. I cringe shot yet. Yeah. Hey, Mary. Mind if we join you? Oh, of course. You're my guest. Have I met you before? We're not fun around here. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask how you knew my name? This well, Mary, to be perfectly nice. honest, we're not here to play bags. This sign is vital. Though so I think it should be noted that bags are, is a brilliant game. Focus, honey. Here's the deal, Mary. Don't freak out, but we work with God. As you know, things have been pretty rough down here. God is determined to fix it. God wants to restore hope, peace, joy, and love to the world. That sounds great, but what does that have to do with me? Everything! Everything? How could this be? God is sending his son. As a baby. Your baby. My baby? Only if you're cool with it, of course. The Holy Spirit will uh, come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called the Son of God. I have to admit, it's a compelling invitation. We do hope you say yes. God is so very pleased with you. We all are. Here, I, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Yes! Oh wait, there might be a problem. What about Joseph? Who's Joseph? God didn't mention any Joseph. Joseph is to be my husband. I could see how that could be a little sticky. We're on it. I, I expected more of a reaction. <sighs> I'm an easy going guy. I'm glad to hear it because we have some news. Hit me! He meant Tell him the news. Oh, right, sorry. It's cool, bro. I hope it's good news. Because I've kind of been down lately. Turns out the lady I was going to m marry is expecting a baby. About that, it's kind of a long story, like it starts at the very beginning of creation, but here's the short version. The world's gone wrong, God's gonna fix it by sending a baby, and don't forget, out, but the mother of that baby is going to be Mary! Mary! And that's holy rad, I love it. Does this mean, mean I get to be like the dad? That's the idea, Mary already agreed to the plan. The Holy Spirit will be visiting her soon, and the baby she'll conceive will be called Jesus. Bro, 
I hope I'm not dreaming because this is awesome. The day is here, my angel friends, the day we restore peace, joy, and love to the world. Mary and Joseph have traveled all the way to Bethlehem, and the baby will be born soon, a newborn king. I think it's time we announce his birth. I figure we should send a star to alert the eastern kings. They're wise enough to figure out what it means. And then maybe you can visit the other kings, queens, and rulers. All the important people should know that the most important reason of all is arriving. Hmm. What is it? It's just that... You're not just sending Jesus to save kings and queens, you're sending him to save everyone. Yeah, God, what if you tell real royals, royals and send us to, to uh, share the news with uh, some ordinary people? Like shepherds! Yes, this is a great idea, especially since I think of how Jesus would be like a shepherd, caring for the flock and seeking the lost sheep. Do you think you can go tell it on the mountainside of Bethlehem? We're on it. We're on it. Freak out, folks. I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth lying in a manger. Glory to God, God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Whoa! That's more like it. Pear I know, right? It's pretty amazing. Don't forget, the kid will be in the stable. Apparently, there's no worm in the inn. Hmm. Whoa! We did it. We really did it. That little, the Christ child is born. That little baby is the son of God, and he is going to bring hope, peace, joy, love into the world. No matter what happens, don't freak out. God will never, ever leave his uh, people alone. Is this where the angel chorus is supposed to sweetly sing over the plains? Because I cannot hold a tune. Me neither. I'm sure the mountain and the congregation will join in, uh, in our joyous strain, even if we do sing a little off-key.